Okay, let's go into the issue of marriage. And I think this is where a lot of the questions come. So this is probably going to be quite a large segment. And the first question, I think the the predominant question that a lot of people ask, why are men allowed four wives, but women can't have four husbands? Yeah, there's no doubt that a man is allowed uh, four wives. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Thank you. Allah Azza wa Jalla said, Marry whomever you will from among the women, two or three or four. And obviously, if a person is not able to be fair, then one. So Allah Azza wa Jal uh, gave permission for a man to marry more than one wife. You have to also remember to put this into context that prior to the coming of the religion of Islam, mm. the culture among the Arabs was unrestricted marriage on the side of the man. A man could have 10 wives, 20 wives, 30 wives. And Islam considered that to be unjust. Okay. So Allah Azza wa Jal limited it to four, that that is the most that a man can fairly and he can, can be fair to, can be just to. So it's an issue of not equality because a woman can't have four husbands. Yeah. But it's a matter of fairness. A man can be fair to four women, but he can in terms of sharing equal time, equal wealth and so on. But more than that, he cannot be fair. Okay. So Allah Azza wa didn't give that to him. Bear in mind also that Allah Azza wa also didn't, ob- ob- didn't obligate or make an obligation upon him to take four wives. Most of the scholars or many of the scholars hold that this is something that is mubah, is permissible. But it's not recommended. And some of them hold that it is recommended Mm -hmm. for a man to have more than one wife. And some said that it's not recommended, but it's simply something which is allowed. So ultimately here, it's not the case that a man is required. It depends on him. Is he able to manage that or not? To be honest, I would say in our time, it's very rare that you find a brother that can actually handle Mm. and be fair and just and can actually properly marry more than one woman. Very rare. It's not possible but it just you don't see it very often and it's not that common in our time either and islam doesn't you know force it upon anybody at the end of the day but there is a difference between the male and the female in this let's just talk about one issue just as a simple example let's talk about protection of lineage okay you have a woman who has four husbands (laughs) ultimately that islam one of the overriding things that islam came to protect and preserve is al-ird someone's honor and a nesab, people's, you know, people's lineage and their honor and so on. So within that, uh, it, it's not, uh, it, it wouldn't be practical and it wouldn't be uh, acceptable really to anyone for a woman to have more than one husband. It, it would be in terms of the issue of the, the issue of honor. And, you know, for example, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us about the punishment of the man who is not he doesn't have ghira over his wife. He doesn't have. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have prote- feel protective over her. Mm. So how about you know this man? You know when you hear now, to be honest, when you yeah. hear news stories of, you know this these couples in open relationships, yeah. there's no izza in it. Yeah, right? no. There's no honor in it. And when you see a man who has two wives and looks after them properly and gives them equal time, that's how Allah created the man able to do that. And the woman generally from a fitrah perspective wouldn't want it usually. And the reason for that is even if you look at society in general across the board, what you see is you see that in cultures and non-Islamic cultures where people marry more than one, I can't think of any examples where a woman takes more than one husband. Mm. But you can think of many examples around the world where people take more than one wife. And that's not an evidence, but that's just to point that it's sure, from the fitrah. Sure. Like it's, it's a natural feeling and a natural thing for a man to take more than one wife if certain things are present sure with a limit of four not to go over that and it's natural for a woman that she would only want to have one husband that's what's that's what allah azawajal brought and it's natural and, so the, I, yeah. and the protection of lineage i thought you were going to say that if yeah protection of lineage if a woman has more than one husband it doesn't protect the lineage if she gets pregnant yeah. and it's and we're Could not let you know it's not someone say well, we have dna tests right now like really are we now gonna like <laughs> every child hospital has to have the dna test attached to yeah. them at the end of the day like we said the sharia deals with every place every country every situation it doesn't deal with you know what's happening in in england in 2020 or 2021 and it deals the whole world yeah. the whole time from beginning to end so ultimately for protection of religion ultimately it's just not natural it's just not that's why when you hear about people you know even now someone comes and says oh yeah you know I, i'm in an open relationship 
you know, me and my wife both have multiple partners. You kind of like a person, yeah, yani, they they can't. It's not like it's horrible, yeah. Yani, you think, for Allah, what's wrong with this person? Would well, you not feel the same way if a man came to you say, "I've got a wife and a mistress"? <laughs> a wife and a mistress, yeah. I would agree with you totally. I would say that's terrible because that's dhulm. What if he says that's part of my fitrah? That's just the way I was created. I would say to him, what you what you don't understand is that you need to actually take that mistress as a wife, not as a mistress, because you're not giving her any rights. You could leave her tomorrow and you could leave her with nothing just on the street. You don't give her any rights. You don't look after her. You don't take care of her. She doesn't have a right to your time. Uh, so even if the scholars of Islam even debated misyar, where a man willingly, a woman willingly marries a man on the condition that the man won't give her her rights. Uh, and he he says like I'm not going to give you anywhere to live And she agrees to it but, And she happily agrees to it I'm fine with that I will live with my parents I'm more than her I just want to get married Even the ulama differed over this How wow. about somebody who took a, a mistress yeah, And it's not That's not that's not the, from the rights of a woman yeah. And even then If a woman was to write in her marriage contract and to, and to say that for example I don't give my permission for my husband To take more than one wife It's a matter the scholars differed over okay. So it's not a case of Oppressing women And actually Wallahi alazim, I can honestly say to you There are situations I personally know Today Right now Where there are women Who actively look To be a co-wife For example There's a woman She's a bit older maybe She has her own life It's not that she can't get married She can get married To someone who doesn't have another wife mm -hmm. But she has her own life She says look I don't want the hassle of this You know I can't manage this thing mm -hmm. Of having my husband with me all the time there are countries where there are way more women than men. Mm, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, Islam, it's, it's wrong for a person just to put these like blinders on and they only see what's in front of them in their country. Okay, if you don't see it to be suitable in your country right now, but you believe it's from Allah, but you don't believe it's suitable for you, Allah didn't require you to do it. Allah didn't ask you to do it. If you don't believe it, it doesn't work for you. But then don't say it doesn't work for everybody right, in the world. Right, right. Because there are many, many countries where it works very, very well and it's needed. And there are countries where there are a huge number of of, uh, of women outnumbering uh, men. There are there are women who, and I'm talking about in societies where there are, you know there are plenty of opportunities for marriage. Just say, look, to be honest, for me, uh, you know, I don't really want to have that full time looking after a husband all the time like that. I just I, I would be just happy, you know, if I, I see him from time to time. That's that's better for me. Yeah. There are people like that, so we shouldn't because it doesn't work for you doesn't mean that it doesn't work for everybody.